Hey, uh, yeah, that's correct. Uh, Brad's uh, back. Uh, uh, we have a new show. Uh, well, it's the same show, but today we're going to we're going to be delving into the, the world of um, the cooking and and sensory cooking things. Maybe it might be not exactly that percentage. When, when, when I was young, uh, I had the, a slave. My family had this slave. The slave made the biggest mistake. She, she uh, favoritized um, you know, my brother Greg, and you know that was a bad move. You know, like she'd pick us up from school in a spiral pattern. She's like, why, why the spiral pattern? Why do you have to drive in a spiral pattern? She's like, eh, because eh, my hip and I can't turn right. She's like, what the f***? You stupid old fucking car. Like, totally wild. It's just like a, a, a show about nature, man. Like, I was trying to learn, man. Like, just went to school already, and I'm coming home, putting on a show. It's about nature. Who's vacuuming me in front of the TV? Who the f*** is vacuuming? The slave. It is a problem today. Uh, people are working in um, Western society. They are. <laughs> it's, it's commercial slavery. She never made no fucking pop cakes. Cook cakes. Whatever the fuck that is, I never made. She never made no cook cakes with me. Uh, and, and it's always with my brother. All the cook cakes. All the cook and uh, and then she quit. She quit us. I threw the lamb into the But um, true story, true story. Pull my bones. <laughs> yeah.
Big hello to those who are watching at home and uh, those, those keen synthesizer fans who've uh, been with Brad all the way. And um, we're going on to cooking now. That will really test your love for uh, Synthwave Jesus. You may end up chanting uh, cooking, cooking Jesus. Uh, so today I'll just let, I'll let you know what we're going to be cooking. Uh, we will be cooking. Uh, right. Like food. Um, so let's just start off with. Uh, first, we'll just start off with um, a pan of. Um, it's just a standard frying pan that's often um, used in, in um, like kitchens. But today we're using it in um, out, out the the, uh, the outdoors here. So I'll just get that started um, there. Get that on there. There you go. So you start with a little bit of water in there. Just make sure you get at least three quarters of the way done. Just gliding across there. Uh, a little, uh, we're gonna be uh, getting tomatoes next for the, uh, just to do the boiling, the mash thing. A uh, little quiz. Where do tomatoes come from? You can answer that at home there. If you said from the ground, they dug out out of the ground, uh, you'd be right, you'd be correct. And today we're using... Robot Guinness. <laughs> it has a little bit of dirt on there, natural. and that should be coming to a boil soon. <laughs> just make sure you add them just before the bubbles come up, uh, the tomatoes in. If it's, if it's not fully covering the tomato, don't worry, you can turn it around at some point. <laughs> Even to 12 minutes, 15, 17 minutes, 27 minutes, 39 minutes, 41 minutes. There you go. You don't have to get too overexcited with that. Just a few little peels there, just to sort of give that peel feeling. These are cooking uh, tips for you. <coughs> Deal with this argot. Mom, I can't open it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, can you help me? Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I. I <laughs> right, and, and then just just carefully mix it down just to make sure that it's ready. You can screw it. A screw into here, just to make sure that the plate stays on the table. Just a little bit faster, going a bit faster with that. Yeah. A bit of a tap. Oh. Well, we'll just screw this part.
doing, doing good cooking. Thanks for doing the cooking show with Brad. You have witnessed because someone's bleeding. This is all someone else's fault. I'm a victim. <laughs> Demoing patches for zero my four. I don't care about you demoing patches for zero my four. I, I'm okay, the are you are you gonna go? Can, I'm the real can you now leave? No. Just go back to what you're doing. No. Okay, are you gonna go? No. And okay, Tennis. I recommend that you go now. Otherwise, I'm gonna have yeah, to. Yeah, I pay recommend. To Dr. Yeah, I, I recommend that I'll stay here now, and we're gonna play tennis. Why do you always have to be so difficult? Move! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> The patient showed up to the clinic exhibiting symptoms of uh, brain inflammation here. Uh, he has cranial pressure here, uh, rapid eye movement. And uh, we uh, we made a diagnosis here for the patient and uh, we used uh, medical implements here to uh, alleviate the cranial cranial pressure here in the uh, upper anterior of the uh, left cerebellum and uh, so uh, we used uh, two rusty implements here, a uh, rusty scalpel there, 12 inch scalpel, uh, gardening shears, uh, you know those giant scissors that uh, you see in the garden, uh, we used those, uh, they were also rusty. Uh, the patient is doing fine, his condition is improving. We haven't heard from the patient, but uh, we are successful, we've been successful uh, in this procedure. Uh, and that is uh, just closing those notes there. Uh, and we'll have further notes.